As the seasons change, birds begin to make their trek to other locations. Barb Rebner joins us live from For the Birds with more on what kinds of birds we'll see during the fall migration. Hi, Barb. Hi there. So yeah, yeah what, kinds of, what kinds of birds are we going to see? Well, there's, there's a lot of different things that are coming through. Indigo buntings that people saw on their way north because they like to nest north of about 45 degrees latitude. Um, they'll be coming back through and they remember, a lot of these birds remember what feeders they stopped at on their way north and they'll stop back at your feeders on the way south, which is pretty interesting because chances are that's the same birds that you're seeing. And um, oven birds are migrating, they'll start soon, and they're a beautiful little bird. They're tiny, and they're the ones that have a real hard time with windows. And you'll have oven, you'll find them, people find them and they bring them in and they ask me what it is, but it's a small buff brown bird with lots of striping on the chest. And um, I always suggest to people from now until migration's over, shut your mini blinds, close your curtains, because you don't want the birds slamming into your windows. And hummingbirds too, they start migrating. The males are probably migrating and many of them are already really far south. But as they start migrating, they'll remember feeders they stopped at on their way north too. And it's really important for them to be able to get lots of sugar water and to, to build, bulk themselves up for the trip. Mm -hmm. So I suggest, and I tell people always, leave your hummingbird feeders out until the first freeze. So mid-October, late October, keep them out there. Oh, okay. Keep them clean. Yeah, I would think that some people <laughs> might bring them in too early, right? Yep. Yes. And, and the rose-breasted grosbeaks too. Talking about beauty, beautiful stuff at the bird feeders, rose-breasted grosbeaks are gorgeous, and they will stop at the same feeders on their route south. So you can look forward oh. to that as the seasons are changing. And I don't know if we have time, but we, Mike and I found something really fun out here today. Yeah, we have time. Today. Oh, good. you got to see this. We're trying to figure out what they are. We've been going through the books, but check it out on the bottom of this leaf, oh. all of these little caterpillars. Wow. Aren't they amazing? Look yeah. at them all on one leaf. Oh, my. And they're eating on the edge there. Whoops. Oh, I got one. But they're just amazing, and we're going to try to find out what they are. And if anybody has a quick clue... Um, they are not monarchs. We don't see any horns on them and they don't have the right pattern. Okay. But um, they're dining on some Virginia creeper here and there's a bunch of them. So it's the signs of fall and those neat things that you see when you're just not expecting it. And we find all kinds of stuff like this around the store here in the wildflowers. It's a lot of fun. Well, it's really cool. I mean, we had pictures while you were talking about some of those birds and they're just uh, mm -hmm. really beautiful to see even on pictures. Oh, sure. And then those will be coming right through people's yards. And it's kind of like you got to realize that's all what's out there. If you just get outside and look at it, fill the feeders, take a walk in the woods. There's mushrooms. There's all kinds of neat things this time of the year. And, and this late summer going into fall is remarkable. Well, Barb, thanks a lot so, for joining us. And, uh, to oh, you're us welcome. In. And if you want more information, you can uh, well call Barb at For the Birds. And there's some more information, fox11online.com. And uh, you'll have... Uh, uh, and uh, you can go to uh, her website too. Now you can learn more about birds at a fall bird ID walk too on Saturday at Mosquito Hill Nature Center in New London. That's a great place. The event is from 7.30 to 10 that morning and for more information there head to fox11online.com, click on the local connect tab and then the community calendar.